NBC's Tom Costello is monitoring the vote for us. Good morning to you. Where do we start, Tom? Yeah, hi guys. Well, let me just pick up on the point you just made. Uh, you're absolutely right. Homeland Security cyber election officials were very concerned about the possibility of foreign interference, disinformation campaigns, misinformation campaigns. Uh, they say it went remarkably well. Really very, very little activity in the cyber world. And part of that is because NBC News has confirmed that U.S. cyber entities, if you will, went on the offensive in the last 24, 48 hours uh, against Russian and Iranian targets that they know would have targeted the U.S. election infrastructure. That may be why it was really a pretty quiet uh, period in the cyber world. Thankfully so. Let's go through where we stand uh, on the various states and when we can expect any sort of a, uh, a decision. And we should remind the audience that we've talked about the possibility going into the election of a red mirage that turns blue, a blue mirage that turns red. So we have, in fact, seen some of that already. We begin right now with Pennsylvania. Uh, and the governor there is saying that they still have about a million or so ballots to count. Uh, and they are just specifically waiting data soon. Uh, they paused accounting overnight. Absentee ballots postmarked by Election Day. This is important. Absentee ballots postmarked by yesterday can be counted if they arrive by Friday on 5 o'clock and all the postmark is correct and accurate. The Secretary of State again insisting that every vote will, in fact, be counted. Let's go to Georgia very quickly there. Uh, some key counties paused voting overnight around the Atlanta area. So we're starting to now get that data in on the Atlanta area vote. Uh, the delays there were because of some problems with the voting tabulation software and also a water pipe that burst uh, in the uh, State Farm Arena. So we are waiting for a more complete picture out of Georgia. Arizona. Uh, voters have five days. Voters have five days to correct their signatures on their ballots. They will not finish voting or counting the vote, we should say, until November 10th. November 10th. So we expect we may get some more data, though, an updated piece of the pie there today. Nevada, mailed in votes postmarked by Election Day can still be counted. Nevada officials now say that they will be having no final count announced until Thursday. Thursday, they're waiting for more data, specifically from Clark County around Las Vegas, which, as you know, tends to lean uh, Democrat. I just quickly wanted to mention Michigan because going into the morning, 3.5 million absentee ballots had been cast. The Michigan Secretary of State uh, is suggesting that we may get the, those numbers in pretty quickly. They're rolling in uh, as we speak right now. And lastly, you know, if you went to bed last night concerned about the unease and the anxiety, regardless of who, which candidate you are supporting, You'll be glad to know that uh, it is calm across America today. We've had no major concerns, no major reports of disruptions. Washington, D.C. is calm. The White House is calm. Uh, yet again, uh, adding into this notion from Homeland Security yesterday that this election really went amazingly well, not a lot of drama, and, and thankfully no real uh, significant signs of, of disruptions. Guys, back to you. Well, Tom, I, I, another silver lining here, if you will, Turnout, the mm -hmm. sheer number yeah. of people who participated in democracy, uh, it, it really is astounding. What are the numbers on that? Yeah, and you know, I got to tell you, it's one complaint you often hear from foreigners, from other democracies. They think, why is your participation level so low in the greatest democracy in the world? The participation level went up dramatically with this election. About 65% of the electorate voted. We have 157 million votes cast. So that is, a, that is the strongest voter turnout in a century. So very encouraging for people who say, listen, I don't care if you vote red or blue, vote. It's about what the country is about, and that number is very encouraging. Absolutely.